I wonder if this is another parable. It's gold, and parables are precious like gold. It looks like a present. Parables are presents. They were given to us by someone who loves us very much. But this isn't the kind of present that you get for Christmas or your birthday. This present was given to you long before you were ever born. And it's yours for always. There's another reason that this might be a parable. It has a lid on it. And parables sometimes seem to have lids on them. They can be difficult to enter. They don't always open for you right away. But keep coming back to it. And one time, it will open. And you will find something very precious inside. I know. Let's take the lid off and see if this really is a parable. Wonder what this is. Nice tan color. I wonder what it could be. A piece of a desert? A sandbox, part of a road. Once, when Jesus was teaching by the Sea of Galilee, he told three parables about seeds so the people might understand what the kingdom of God is like. He told the parable of the sower and the seed. He told the parable of the mustard seed. And he also told this parable about a farmer and the growing seed. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is like a farmer. Who scatters seed along the ground. And then goes home. And sleeps. And gets up. And sleeps and gets up. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces its grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. And when the grain is ripe, at once, the farmer gathers it with his sickle, because the harvest has come.
Now I wonder, I wonder what the farmer is doing besides sleeping and getting up while the grain is growing. I wonder how the farmer feels trusting this seed to the earth, trusting that it is fertile soil. I wonder how he feels trusting the seed to the sun and the rain, that it will get what it needs to grow. I wonder how the farmer feels about the grain as he looks out from his house over the fields. I wonder how the farmer feels about the grain when it is ready to harvest. If this is what Jesus says the kingdom of God is like, then I wonder who might the farmer really be? And what might the seed really be? And I wonder what this whole place might really be. And finally, I wonder what is most important in this story? Here is the harvest. The head of the grain. The stalk. The seeds. The soil, the farmer, and this is a parable.